So here's my second part of my update with Cloud in group living. Um, still checking everything out. He's a little um, crouching, kind of uh, stiff there in the back end. That just may be um, having lived in a, in, a con in confined quarters um, where he uh, didn't get a lot of muscle use. It may just be that he's brand new to the environment, so he's just walking a tad funny. Could also be an old injury. A lot of times these cats that were outdoors uh, got bumped at some point by a vehicle. Um, oftentimes not, not hard enough really to do much other than just cause some old um, trauma to the area. So I don't know if that's happened or not. And we'll just keep an eye on that. Uh, as he settles in, a lot of times, um, <clears throat> you know, the tail comes up and they walk more confidently and you don't really notice that much anymore. But he was definitely an outdoor boy. Um, does have a tipped ear on the left. You can see that was done by the uh, uh, spay-neuter clinic when he was neutered. Doing very well out and about in group living. Doesn't seem to have any politics whatsoever. A little bit on the shyer side, but uh, very good um, genetic base for being a very friendly, loving cat, as the male seals typically are. But somewhat people inexperienced, so there's a little bit of a learning curve for that reason. Um, no small kids immediately. Certainly think you'd be fine with kids in the future. Um, but I think initially to get kind of started and bond to his people in an adult household, um, older children, but quieter household would be good. Um, and he's going to be a lovely, lovely cat. Really a nice boy. Um, this guy's got fantastic potential. The young male seals, I always think, are really excellent, excellent choices for somebody who wants a Siamese and wants a loving cat because they're typically very snuggly and friendly. Um, so we'll keep you updated.